looking at this calendar stuck on my wall, I remembered when I was young and my teacher asked me when was my date of birth. And I was like, uh, how old was I? Seven. Yes, primary one. So what she, I, I told her that I didn't know. So she told me to went to the calendar and look for it. So this is what I did. I told her that Exactly. How would I know my date of birth? Even if she asked me to look at the calendar. So I just tell there for about I think like 10 to 15 minutes and she carried on with the lesson in the class and I was left like so. I mean, what kind of question is that? I don't know my date of birth. Silver Fox and to send him for his last day uh, at least for this year in Malaysia yep and he said that he is leaving uh, because the visa cannot be renewed at the moment uh, as for the due to the uh, this pandemic issues so Yes, like I've mentioned, uh, mixed emotion, uh, sad that he's leaving. Uh, no, we don't find this kind of good people around. Uh, not many friends that I have that befriends me uh, for no particular reason, just as a friend. Uh, there are some, yes. Uh, but he is among the best of all. Uh, anyway, uh, in the side of it, another side of it is that I'm happy for him because uh, when he's here, he's like uh, trapped and can't do anything much because his driving license cannot be renewed. It has expired and uh, to renew it, he has to get his visa which uh, already expired too. So he can't move anywhere, he can't ride anywhere, he can't do his motorcar anywhere, anywhere. And when he travels around, you know the cops, you know, the police, of course they are doing their job, they have to check him out, you know, ask him things, this and that. Not many, but on some occasions. So, uh, when he goes, returns to the UK for the moment as he planned, he can get all of these uh, official appointments and official uh, arrangements all figured out. And uh, when he comes back, yes, he said that he's coming back. Uh, probably he'll go to some other places first before he comes to Malaysia uh, because he, yeah in, in a way he the way that he's saying is that he promised that he will come back to Malaysia and stay as a Malaysian that's what I'm very glad about and to you all of his subscribers you know stay tuned he'll be back so now I'm traveling to his home fetching him from his house uh, and then uh, sending him to the Larkin Terminal, the Terminal Bersatu Selatan uh, because he has to get a coach from here to KLIA in Sepang uh, and then he's going to travel by flight uh, probably, I, I know, uh, he will update you on how his flight arrangement is and where he's at I'm sure he will uh, broadcast uh, or rather just shoot some videos uh, to say that where he's at and what's his experience because for 13 months he 
hasn't been out of Malaysia. No, 13 months. Yeah, at least 13 months straight because he's been here for 13 years and he uh, went here and there to travel, you know, having lots of fun in life. But at least for the past, no, yeah, 13 months, he's, he has been trapped in Malaysia and can't go anywhere. And he has covered a lot of places and I brought him to some, uh, have some good local food, good and also good for me but maybe not a good experience for him like the durian. But we have fun, we had fun. Uh, and then, uh, yep, he's going to update us and it's going to be rather interesting, yes. There they are, living for KLIA. Set times I uh, they estimated that going to kiss Sophia all in purple from head to toe uh, so Ellen and Sophie Silver Fox and Sophie has went through that door there their coach is leaving at 10 uh, uh, but now it's 9 30 they have to check in at least no, they have to check in exactly 30 minutes before the coach time. So I am going to just uh, hang around for a while, just in case if anything uh, they need some help. I'm going to be here at the moment until 10, at least until their bus leaves for KLIA. So sad times, but things you have to do, you have to do. Yeah. Now, I promised that I'm going to cry, but uh, after listening to what they have to go through to get from here to the UK, really, uh, to me, it's like a hassle. That's why I'm not a traveler, you know? That's why I'm not a traveler yet, because I hate all of these hassles. Um, and the worst thing for me today is that they cannot carry extra luggage which I've bought for them gifts uh, that I expected them to wear on this Eid in the UK but uh, don't they have to hand carry everything so they can bring along my gift I'm going to keep it and uh, pass it to them when they come back in another four, five or six months, let's hope so. Thank you. 